Okay, guys, so this is why a battery becomes less effective. Essentially, the e-cell drops um, when you turn it on. So it works like this, and it's, there's definitely a few points to this argument, so I would definitely practice in bullet point form, writing out the key points, covering them up, trying to write them out again from memory, otherwise you will lose it in like a couple of weeks, it's quite out here. Either which way. So I've got our two half cells and I've connected them together using a wire, a voltmeter and a salt bridge. Because this has the more positive electrode potential and lithium has the more negative, the more positive one is going to be uh, reduced, so that's going to go in this direction. The more negative half cell, well, that gets oxidized, so it will be going in the backwards direction. Okay, so that's the first thing to realize. We wouldn't need to talk about that, but that's the first thing to realize. First thing we're going to need to talk about, and I'm just going to focus on this side for now. If we have the forward reaction happening, I'll just kind of, I won't draw on. If I have the forward reaction happening, what is going to happen to the concentration of my copper 2 plus ions as time goes on? Well, if we've got the forward reaction happening, because it's the more positive electrode potential, then the concentration of my copper 2 plus ions will decrease. Thinking about the Chatelier's principle, so going all the way back to A1 now, if we have reduced the concentration of my copper ions, What's going to happen to the position of equilibrium? Well, the position of equilibrium will shift to the left to try and bring that concentration back up. And indeed, it will start producing some copper ions. However, it will also produce some electrons. Now, where do these electrons go? Definitely not into the solution. That's not what they do. They get delocalized in the metal electrode, which in this case would be made out of solid copper. So our extra electrons are getting added to this electrode. So I'm just going to stop for a second and go off on a slight tangent. What is the electrode potential? What, what determines it? Well, as a bit of a simplification, the electrode potential is basically how much electron density is on your electrode. The more electron density on your electrode, the more negative the electrode potential, because electrons are negative, right? So if we have reduced the concentration of copper ions, and my position of equilibrium has shifted to the left, that is producing more electrons on my electrode. So the electron density of my electrode will increase. But if the electron density increases of my electrode, what will that do to the electron potential? Well, electron potential is the electron density. The more electron density you have, the more negative the electrode potential. So because I've added more electrons here and increased the electron density, my electrode potential will become more negative. So this, let's say, whatever it is, was where my positive electrode potential was before I turned the battery on. This is where my negative electrode potential was. Because I have increased the electron density, this value will become more negative. What have I now done to the difference between my electrode potentials on the half cells? Well, I have decreased the difference. But what is the E-cell, the difference between the electrode potentials? So if you decrease the difference between the electrode potentials, you decrease the E-cell. E-cell is just the more positive electrode potential minus the more negative. And we have, as you can clearly see, made them closer. So the E-cell will drop. But it's worse than that, because we need now also need to think about the other side. As this is more negative, we're going to be getting oxidized, the reverse reaction. So what is going to be happening to the concentration of your lithium ions? Well, it's going to be increasing. You're getting more backwards reaction. So the concentration will increase. Thinking about Le Chatelier's principle, what is that going to do to the position of equilibrium? Well, it'll shift the position to the right. 
So, what is that going to do to the electron density of your electrode? Well, you're now removing extra electrons. Look, they're getting changed into lithium atoms. So, we're decreasing the electron density on my electrode. If you decrease the electron density, that will make your electrode potential more positive. So from there to there. So when you turn on the battery, the more positive electrode potential gets more negative, and the more negative electrode potential gets more positive. They both get closer together. When they get too close, as a, a rough guide within 0.4 of each other volts, when they get within that, the electrons can't be asked to make the journey across anymore, and your battery will just about stop working. That's not the only reason your battery could stop working. It could just be that your temperature is too low. If your temperature is too low, then your electrons won't have the activation energy to make the journey, which is why uh, is it Inuits, we call them? Inuits uh, probably can't use batteries very well on the North Pole. They won't work because the temperature is too low for the electrons to have the activation energy. But even if in your like the Bahamas, your battery will eventually run out because the electrode potentials converge together. And it's all down to this equilibrium shift due to the change in concentration of your ions.